Bam, here it is, an instant article. So you, it's gonna be chasing you everywhere. Check out Instagram stories. And there you go, it's on Instagram, it's everywhere. So it's gonna be following you. Once you go to Music Chess, you're gonna have these ads follow you everywhere. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going over the easiest retargeting strategy. Before we get into the video, let's announce last video's winners for a consulting call with me. The winner is here. If you guys wanna win, all you have to do is drop a comment below, tag your Instagram, make sure you're following me, and I'll go ahead and be picking the best comment every single video to give a thousand dollars worth of consulting calls or courses to. Let's get into the video. As you can see, here's my ad account. I'm gonna be literally taking you guys through A to Z as always bringing you guys into my actual Shopify backend. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make a really simple and straightforward retargeting campaign. I know I've, I've shown you guys some pretty complicated ones, but I wanna show you guys a really simple one for especially smaller stores. So let's go ahead and create. 021. Now we're gonna go Simple retargeting campaign, seven days. I'll be optimizing for conversions. 001, view content, no add to cart. 001, save to draft. Scroll down, this is good. To the ad set conversions seven day or one day click, that's completely fine. Optimize for purchase. I'm gonna start at a dollar a day just because, like, this is what you would do if you have a smaller store. There's no point doing five dollars a day because if you only have a small amount of people who've just viewed your store, then you're gonna just be wasting money. Custom audience, you want to put in. Okay, music chest all view contents and then exclude music chest all at the cart. No countries, you wanna you don't wanna lock it down, you wanna keep it worldwide. Keep everything blank and then Placements, you want to leave it as automatic. You don't want to edit placements and you want to let Facebook do the job and find where to retarget. So you don't want to make it too complicated as I showed you guys in previous tutorials. Keep it on automatic placements for now. So here is ad page. I'm going to go ahead and actually duplicate an ad from my main retargeting campaign. So let me do that now and I'll cut to once I finish. Two hours later. Got a simple image that has a collage of all the music chests we have. This is a store-wide retargeting ad. I have an ad copy of $10 off for the next hour. Use the code 10 bucks at checkout. Code expires in 60 minutes and don't miss out. Headline, I'm gonna leave as, actually, headline, I'm gonna put this in. Subheadline, I'm gonna write code expires in 60 minutes. Website musicchess.com, musicchess.com, shop now, beautiful. And this is gonna be, um, basically this ad will run on Instagram stories, Facebook newsfeed, um, Facebook mobile, Facebook desktop. Um, so yeah, check this out. Go to desktop, bam. Go to instant articles, bam, here it is, an instant article. So you, it's gonna be chasing you everywhere. Check out Instagram stories. And there you go, it's on Instagram, it's everywhere. So it's gonna be following you. Once you go to Music Chess, you're gonna have these ads follow you everywhere. Now let's go back to the audience. So I found out I had made a mistake. Um, you can't use this. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a custom audience for users in the past seven days. When you have a smaller store, there's no point retargeting people 30 days deep because your audience is just too small. You really wanna spend your money in people in the past seven days because they're the most warmest traffic and the, probably the most willing to purchase. So that's when the last seven days is highly ROI positive. So go to audiences. So now I'm here, create audience, custom audience. 
then you want to go to website traffic I'm going to select the music box pixel I'm going to pick everyone who viewed content in the past 7 days so I'll name this music chess or VC bracket 7 days create audience done create audience custom audience website traffic music box pixel past seven days I'm gonna pick all add to cart put name and audience changes to add to cart past seven days create audience done create audience again one last time for purchase change my pixel purchase seven days PUR for purchase create audience I'm going to go back to my ad set refresh scroll down to audience Music chess, custom audience, view content, past seven days, music, custom audience, oops, and then I want to put all add to cart in the exclusion. And that's that done. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then I'm going to rename this to 002 dot add to cart no purchase scroll down put in add to cart seven days and now I'm going to exclude purchase and there you go exclude purchase in the past seven days remove uh, view content and that's the retargeting normal campaign and yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and review and publish And yeah, that's about it. Go, I went ahead and published it. It is as simple as that. That's how you make a simple retargeting ads. Let's do a recap. You want like $1 budgets. You want to be creating custom words for the past seven days because you'll get high conversion rates and you have smaller audiences anyways. So with the $1, it would show up to everyone in the past seven days. If you do past 30 days, the leads get cold and you're just wasting money. And three, you want to leave it on automatic placements and you want to let Facebook basically show your ads to everyone in all these different sectors rather than splitting it up into many different ad sets or different placements. You only want to do that once you're scaling and you have probably done more than a few thousand dollar days. But if you don't, you want to keep it as simple as that and that's how you set up the easiest retargeting strategy. Question of the day, do you currently use retarget? I want to know. Let me know if you guys found value in this video. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Give me your feedback. I really appreciate you guys for watching these videos and I'm thankful for you guys. So thank you for supporting the channel and let me know what you guys want and I'll go ahead and produce content for you guys. Other than that, if you guys are finding value, drop a like below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I'm dropping value every single day. Peace.